Uh, Sunday is my big cooking day, so let's say I, um, I'm doing chicken. That's kind of my theme for the week. I'm, I, I look in the paper, see what's on sale, and let's say, you know, uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast are on sale or any kind of chickens on sale, or I just happen to have chicken in my freezer. Um, that will be the week that I roast up that Sunday a bunch of different chicken and turn it into a bunch of different recipes. Now, this is also great for leftover turkey. Um, and turkey isn't just a Thanksgiving thing. You know, do turkey or a turkey breast other times of the year um, and turn the leftover turkey into all sorts of different recipes. Turkey soup, turkey casseroles, these turkey pot pies. Okay, this is one of those dump and go kind of recipes that I happen to love. Two cans of cream of chicken soup. And we don't have to monkey around with the pie crust for this recipe, which is another reason I love it. And I'm just putting this in a big skillet so I can just kind of warm it. And this is going to be a very quick bake. So this is seriously something you could throw together after work in like 15, 20 minutes. It's that quick. All right, so two cans of cream of chicken soup. Now I'm going to add to that a little bit of dry white wine. That's one of my secret ingredients when it comes to making canned soup taste really good, like it was a sauce that was made from scratch. Milk, one and a half cups of milk, and one small container or one cup of sour cream. And I'm just going to whisk this together get all the lumps and bumps out and to start adding the rest and it's just I promise you that easy we're not even going to chop the vegetables we're just using fresh or frozen vegetables I should say which I usually keep a bag on hand in my in my freezer so I'm just whisking this and as it heats it'll melt together and I can keep it a little more smooth now here is one of my secret ingredients I am going to add some fresh thyme uh, because, again, this is going to make this cream sauce, this chicken cream sauce, the gravy, uh, you know, if you will, in the chicken pot pie, really tastes like, um, you know, it was homemade and from scratch. So just some fresh thyme, and I just take it off the leaves like this. Um, you don't even really need to chop it. If you don't have fresh thyme, you could also use dried thyme, uh, but maybe just a half a teaspoon of it. Dried thyme is really strong. Fresh herbs, remember, aren't as potent normally as the dry herbs. So I'm going to do about a tablespoon of fresh thyme or maybe about a half a teaspoon of dried thyme. But this makes a huge difference. And one more little bit. It smells so good. Okay. Also a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm just going to start adding the rest of the ingredients. I have about two to three cups of shredded chicken or turkey. This is, again, a great way to use up leftovers. Put it right in there. Or planned leftovers, is, which is how I roll. Now, as far as the veggies go, um, this is a fun one. I love potatoes in my pot pie. That's one of my you know, favorite ingredients in there. And you don't have to peel and dice up potatoes. One of my tricks and secrets in a lot of my recipes is I have a, a bag of frozen hash brown potatoes, the cube style, um, in my freezer and for soups and stews and casseroles and things like that, where I need a little bit of potato, I just open the bag and a lot of those bags now are resealable or I just put them in a Ziploc and here we go. So two cups of frozen cube style hash brown potatoes. You don't need to cook them, just let them thaw a little bit. And then I've got two cups of frozen mixed vegetables. Um, so this is one of those bags of vegetables that has peas, carrots, corn, green beans. They're already um, diced for you and they're perfect. They're just ready to roll. And that's it. We're about done. How's it looking, Ann? You took a peek? Beautiful. So I'm just going to let this heat just a little bit. This is going to cook in the oven, but we're actually going to put it into our crocs warm so that we can bake them pretty quickly. 
So I'm just going to let this hang out. If the mixture gets too thick, you can always add a little more milk. I'm a big person on gravy or a little, another splash of white wine. Okay, so let that hang out and do its thing. Now the crust, and that's really the most work and one of the best parts about pot pie is the crust. So instead of using an ordinary pie crust, we're actually gonna use um, crescent rolls. And so this is a really fun trick, real easy. Now with this dough, oh I love it when it pops open like that. I always get a kick out of that, I don't know why. It's the little stuff in, in life that makes, makes it fun, I guess. We fight over who gets to open the cans in my house. It's crazy stuff. Okay, so when you open these up, you'll notice that they're, the dough is, you know, it's got these triangles, so that basically it makes eight rolls. Um, this basically, we're gonna not separate them into triangles, we're gonna basically keep them in their squares, which are actually more like rectangles. And the big, here's the deal. We are gonna make individual pot pies, which are very, on trend, very, very in. Uh, oh, that looks good, I just wanna get it off the heat. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, so if you go to you know, restaurants, a lot of times, uh, you'll get your own individual baked macaroni and cheese or your own individual you know, uh, shepherd's pie. Same type of thing here. Everybody's gonna get their own chicken pot pie and I'll show you how it comes together. You pick up these ramekins, which are really inexpensive um, and you can do so many different things with them. They're oven proof bowls basically so from French onion soup to individual cobblers there's a lot of things you can do with them they come in different sizes um, they're the in thing so pick up some of these so you just basically ladle into the bowls some of the chicken mixture pile it all in there and then you take and I've got these on a baking dish because we don't want um, it to overflow in this recipe you're gonna have enough to make about six just depends how much chicken you're using four to six big pot pies so um, it, you, you may want to buy two roll two cans of the crescent rolls depending on how many of these you want to make then you just take the, the crescent rolls and I kind of seal the edge and stretch it a little bit so that I'm gonna make a square and be able to cover my dish. You don't need a rolling pin or anything like that. It'll just kind of do it for you. And then you just basically pop this over the oven proof ramekin. Just seal it a little bit and it's gonna bake and be wonderful so it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry about that. But just Use your hands. Rustic. Yes, I love that word, rustic. Homemade. That's what all the, the big restaurants use. All my cooking is very rustic. <laughs> <laughs> so over the top it goes, and that's going to be the crust, and it's just so easy and so good. Who doesn't like crescent rolls? That's something I, I normally always have on hand. My kids totally dig crescent rolls, and uh, you need a, a quick roll to go with soup or stew, whatever. Got a can of those right there. Uh, so I'm going to beat some egg with a little bit of water, and that's going to be our little egg wash just to make it look pretty. Just about a tablespoon of water and egg. And then basically you just brush this over the top. Now our filling is already warm. So these are a pretty quick bake. We just want that roll to get golden and bubbly. So basically I like to bake these on a little bit higher temperature, 375, 400, maybe even up to 425, just depends on your oven. Um, keep an eye on these guys, but you're waiting for the roll to get golden and beautiful. You can also decorate the top, which is sometimes fun to do, uh, with a little bit of dried parsley, just to make it look all pretty. That's up to you. Not necessary, but it's usually something we have on hand anyway. All right, so in these go into the oven, and they're so awesome. Everybody just feels so special, I think, when they get their own, you know? It's all mine. All right, come back with me. Ooh, they're gorgeous. And how good do these look? They're my homemade, super, super duper easy um, chicken pot pies, just using uh, frozen vegetables, leftover chicken or turkey, canned cream of chicken soup, and then um, crescent rolls for the crust. And we'll dip in and show you how good 
this is going to be. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How good does that look, Ann? Yum. Yummy. Recipes on our website. You can also pick this one up at any area festival foods. Again, great way to use up leftover chicken or turkey.